Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. Question says, using the appropriate properties, find minus 2 upon 3 into 3 upon 5 plus 5 upon 2 minus 3 upon 5 into 1 upon 6. Let us now start with the solution. First of all, let us rewrite the given expression. That is minus 2 upon 3 multiplied by 3 upon 5 plus 5 upon 2 minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 6. Now rearranging the terms of this expression, you get minus 2 upon 3 multiplied by 3 upon 5 minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 6 plus 5 upon 2. Note that third term is second term of this expression and second term is third term of this expression. Now first of all, let us understand commutative property of multiplication. It states that if A and B are two rational numbers, then A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A. Now we will apply this property in the first term. Here value of A is minus 2 upon 3 and value of B is 3 upon 5. So you can write this term as 3 upon 5 multiplied by minus 2 upon 3. Now, rest of the terms of this expression will remain as it is. Now, you know you can write minus 2 upon 3 as minus 1 multiplied by 2 upon 3. So, here we can write 3 upon 5 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by 2 upon 3 within brackets minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 6 plus 5 upon 2. Now understand associative property of multiplication. It states that if A, B and C are three rational numbers, then A multiplied by B multiplied by C within brackets is equal to A multiplied by B within brackets multiplied by C. Now we will apply this property in this term. Here value of A is 3 upon 5, value of B is minus 1 and value of C is 2 upon 3. So it is equal to 3 upon 5 multiplied by minus 1 within brackets multiplied by 2 upon 3. Substituting these values of A, B and C on right hand side, you get this expression. Now all other terms will remain as it is. 3 upon 5 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to minus 3 upon 5 and we get minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 2 upon 3. Now here minus 3 upon 5 can be written as plus minus 3 upon 5 and you will write multiplied by 1 upon 6 as it is now copy last term that is 5 upon 2 as it is here. Now understand distributive property of multiplication over addition. It states that if A, B and C are three rational numbers then A multiplied by B plus C whole is equal to A multiplied by B plus A multiplied by C. Now we will apply this property in these two terms. Here note that this is the value of A value of b is 2 upon 3 and value of c is 1 upon 6 and a multiplied by b plus a multiplied by c is equal to a that is minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by b plus c that is 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 within brackets and you will write this term plus 5 upon 2 as it is now using board mass rule, first of all you will solve this bracket. So we will add these two terms by taking their LCM. Now LCM is 6, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Now again 6 divided by 6 is 1, so 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 only. And you will write this plus 5 upon 2 as it is. Now 4 plus 1 is 5, so here you will write minus 3 upon 5 multiplied by 5 upon 6 plus 5 upon 2. 
Now in the first term you will cancel common factor 3 from numerator and denominator both and you get minus 1 upon 5 multiplied by 5 upon 2 plus 5 upon 2. Now 5 upon 2 can be written as 5 upon 2 multiplied by 1. Now again you will apply commutative property of multiplication in the first term and you can write it as 5 upon 2 multiplied by minus 1 upon 5 and write the second term as it is. Clearly you can see value of a here is minus 1 upon 5 and value of b is 5 upon 2. So you can write a multiplied by b as b multiplied by a. So here we have written b multiplied by a. Now you can apply distributive property of multiplication over addition in this expression. Value of a is 5 upon 2, value of b is minus 1 upon 5 and value of c is 1. So a multiplied by b plus a multiplied by c is equal to a that is 5 upon 2 multiplied by minus 1 upon 5 plus 1 whole. Now first of all you will solve this bracket. Now take the LCM of 1 and 5 that is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so 1 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 1. We will write this plus sign as it is. 5 divided by 1 is 5 and 5 multiplied by 1 is 5 only. Now these are two integers with different signs. So first of all, you will subtract smaller integer from the greater integer. Now you know 5 minus 1 is 4. And you will put a sign of greater integer before the result. Now greater integer is 5 and it is having positive sign. So here you will put positive sign and you will write the denominator as it is here. Now cancel common factor 5 from numerator and denominator both. Also common factor 2 from numerator and denominator both. And you are left with 1 multiplied by 2, that is 2 only. So this is our required answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the solution. Take care and have a nice day.